my name is Jasmine Kuja, and I'm a Senior Research Associate in Smoking Studies in, at the University of Bristol, and I work in the Integrative Cancer Epidemiology Programme as the Smoking Cessation Co-Chair Theme Lead. We've known for some time that smoking has links to cancer, but we don't know enough about the part that nicotine specifically plays in that. So nicotine is the main active ingredient in tobacco, and it's found in most e-cigarettes. And it's important to better understand this now because e-cigarettes are being used much more. And it's also important to find out whether giving up smoking, even if you already have cancer, is actually beneficial. Our group wants to achieve a few different things, one of which is to better understand what part nicotine plays in the development of cancer. And we also want to know if you stop smoking, what effect does that have on your cancer development in the future? Finally, we want to know or we want to give smokers better advice for their health. For example, if a person uses e-cigarettes to quit smoking, what does that actually do to their health? In the smoking cessation theme, we're looking at five different things primarily. The first of which is to look at the effects of nicotine on people's health when it's not taken in with other harmful constituents of tobacco smoke, such as tar, for example. We're also looking at whether genes or, uh, can have an effect on the way nicotine works to judge whether long-term use of nicotine leads to cancer. We're, we are predicting the risk of lung cancer by looking at any abnormal changes that are taking place in DNA of people who smoke. And we're using wearable technologies like smartwatches to help stop cancer patients from going back to smoking. And we're also studying the links between smoking and sleep to develop a way that sleep can help people to stop smoking and then lower the risk of cancer. So we're going to use the outcomes of our research to improve the health of the population who smoke. And we're going to do this by recommending approaches such as the use of smartwatches and sleep programs for people who are attempting to stop smoking. And we're also advising the public and policymakers on the risks and benefits of using nicotine without tobacco.